Hey everyone, Brennan Snyder here, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to 10 Rare Guns N' Roses Albums. So the band aren't really known for their volume of work with only six studio albums and one live album under their belt. Now this is over 37 years. Getting their start back in 1986 with the Live Like a Suicide EP. Um, for me at least, a diehard fan you know, can often leave us wanting more. And with the new release that they just did, the brand new song perhaps just dropped on Friday, August 18th of 2023. If you haven't heard it, check it out. I happen to like it. I know some people don't, but I think it's a pretty good song. I decided to compile a list of 10 rare albums that will give you more to listen to while we wait for the next new album to drop. Now, we don't know when that is gonna be, but I do wanna say the next new song, which is called The General, is expected to drop on October 27th of 2023. So do keep an eye out for that. There should be some more new Guns N' Roses on the way. In the meantime, we're gonna talk about these 10 rare Guns N' Roses albums. We're gonna do that here in just a bit, but before we get started, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do leave a comment, hit like, all those things do help my channel. And of course, if you turn on notifications, you're gonna get up to date on cool videos just like this about these 10 rare Guns N' Roses albums. Now, I'm gonna be doing this in chronological order, so year of release, and we're gonna kick off with a 1987 release it's a self-titled EP that has the original album art from the uh, first debut album, which I do have an uncensored copy of the original. This is still sealed in plastic, so um, I do have that, which is very cool. But the music that's on that, at least, is readily available, so I'm not counting that as a rare one. I'm actually talking about ones that have some cool additional material for you to listen to. So this one in particular has... Uh, five live tracks additionally that are on this thing. This is a Japanese only release. As I said, it features the original album art, so that's kind of cool. You get six tracks total. Five of these are live songs, which is often referred to as live from the jungle because the Japanese writing that is on here states that. But on this side, the English stuff just simply says Guns N' Roses EP. So on the Guns N' Roses website, they refer to it as a self-titled EP. Uh, you know, call it what you want though. At the time of release, four of these songs were, were unreleased. Shadow of Your Love, Live, Move to the City. Well, all of them are live. Move to the City, Knock It on Heaven's Door, and Whole Lot of Rosie, of course. Uh, Move to the City would turn up on Lies. Uh, Knock It on Heaven's Door studio version would turn up on the Use Your Illusion album. Whole Lot of Rosie didn't turn up on anything, and Shadow of Your Love was left unreleased for a long time until they actually put it out as a bonus track to the Appetite for Destruction reissue. Now, I think all of these were like B-sides and stuff as well, so collected together, but on one EP, there you go. Pretty cool thing to try to hunt down if you uh, wanna find it from 1987. All right, uh, number two is uh, Guns N' Roses uh, in-store place sampler simply called On Tour Now. Nothing on the backside, simply white cardboard with a piece of paper on it. Uh, the disc in here is an official Geffen Records uh, release, which has the track listing and everything that's on it. So this was a promotional only release uh, featuring 11 tracks that are selected across both Use Your Illusion albums. It opens with Locomotive, which is cool because that was not one of the singles. It does feature seven songs that would ultimately get singles uh, and videos made for it. It does have the deep cut 14 years, sung by Izzy Stradlin, which happens to be my favorite song uh, on those Use Your Illusion albums. And it had classics on it like Civil War and Knock On Heaven's Door, which people already knew at that point when the albums were dropping because those had been available on soundtracks and stuff. Okay, uh, next one is uh, the Use Your Illusion, no S on that, from 1998, and see how the artwork is split with both the yellow and red and the blue and purple, I guess, is, is the other color. Uh, this was put together, it's a single disc album, uh, for retail stores, it was exclusive to stores like Walmart. I don't know if it popped up in Targets and stuff like that at the time. Uh, but it is a single CD edition of the double album, The Use Your Illusions 1 and 2. Uh, it did remove any songs that had explicit lyrics, 
featuring a total of 12 tracks on here but it doesn't have all of the single releases like one might expect because it couldn't have lead single You Could Be Mine because there was explicit language in it, but it does have a lot of them. So it's just a nice uh, sort of greatest hits sampler of the two albums, uh, removing some of that extraneous filler stuff on it. And as a cool listen, uh, as an alternate to both of these, uh, this one and the last one were kind of cool alternates to the Use Your Illusion albums. Okay, next one is an unreleased album. Uh, it's number four uh, that I'm talking about here. That's the back side because it didn't come with art. Duff McKagan, Beautiful Disease from 1999. It's an unreleased solo album, his second, that was shelved at the time by Geffen Records. So this is an official release. They did do promotional work and send out these CDs, but ultimately yanked it before it got released. So this has 13 tracks on it. Uh, for his second album, sounds very different than his first one. This one has a much more punk vibe to it than the other one. But Duff singing on the Guns N' Roses albums, um, doing the punk stuff with like Spaghetti Incident, has a lot of that feel to it. So if you like his vocals, you like what he's done with Guns N' Roses there, this is like a whole album of that for you. Um, I will say this, it's very hard to come by. Anytime I've looked it up online, it goes for over a thousand dollars usually. Um, I picked mine up, I think for less than 20 bucks originally years ago, uh, but things now have just gone through the roof, unfortunately. Okay, fifth one to talk about. Izzy Stradlin, Like a Dog, this is an internet only album that he released. Uh, it is official, but uh, you purchased it digitally, you downloaded it and ripped it to CD. And then he provided um, artwork for it that you could download and print and make this jewel case edition. It does have everything. It was all scaled correctly. If you just printed it at one to one, uh, you got it sort of a thing. So uh, very cool. Uh, again, Izzy being somebody who sang on the Use Your Illusion albums, like the song 14 Years, which I mentioned to you, um, you for me at least, I have that. That feels like Guns N' Roses to me. So when I have solo material from both Duff and Izzy, I still feel like I'm listening to GNR uh, style stuff. The cool thing is um, Duff McKagan's been backing up Izzy for a long time on his solo works and, and Duff McKagan's on here. So we got two GNR guys uh, on that release. Okay, the next one, Guns N' Roses, whenever it's done, songs from the Chinese Democracy Sessions. 10 tracks on this thing. This is a bootleg. Uh, it was released in 2006, so two full years before Chinese Democracy would drop. As I said, it's a bootleg album, so not official, but the sound quality on it is fantastic, at least for the first uh, bulk of the tracks. I think the last couple on here um, are a little rough, but uh, most of these are like full-on studio version. Uh, as I said, 10 tracks, eight of the songs on here would turn up on Chinese Democracy. Two of them did not. Oh My God, which was on the end of day soundtrack is on this, and that's cool to get it because I didn't want to buy that soundtrack just to have it. And Silkworms is on here. Silkworms would be the song that would later be turned into the song Absurd, released as a new song in 2021, but it never got a release from Chinese Democracy though those two are on the back side here and you know for a bootleg this thing is done uh, very well in my opinion i'm not a big fan of bootlegs unless one the sound quality is great and the artwork looks fantastic and in that case that was now i purchased that at a local record store here i have no idea where you would find that today all right next one Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Democracy, live at the Hard Rock Casino from 2014. It is a double live album taken from the DVD concert film of the same name, recorded at La or in Las Vegas at The Joint during their residency in 2012. This is 2014 that it got its release. The CD was part of a rare limited edition package that came out that had the DVD, a t-shirt, and then this double CD in it. And it features 25 tracks uh, recorded uh, with the then lineup, which has um, Ron Thal on it, Bumblefoot, and also um, having uh, uh, 
DJ Aspa, sorry. <laughs> Had to think of his name for a second there. There's been so many members in Guns N' Roses sometimes. Can't keep them all straight. Tommy Stenson. So it was that lineup. It's before the reunion is sort of my point. And it's a nice document to have of a, the different era lineup of the band before the reunion happened. All right. Uh, the eighth one to talk about here is Slash Conspiracy Series Volume 1. This was released in 2019, and it's a compilation of uh, both Solo and his work with the Conspirators. So 13 tracks total on it. It is an SHCD, so it's one of those higher quality ones. And if you've got the player that will uh, enhance uh, or, or can play the enhanced discs, it sounds even better. But plays in standard CD players. Uh, nothing new or unreleased as part of this, but it is just a nice collection of Slash's uh, later day era solo and work with the Conspirators. So it's just a cool uh, thing to listen to as well. Something again, a little different than just throwing on the albums that you might already own. All right, the ninth thing, Guns N' Roses Hard School EP from 2021 featuring the song Hard School but also Absurd, the song we were talking about that was originally called Silkworms that then got modified into that. Um, this was the first new material that it's not cover songs that the band with the core lineup of Axel, Slash, and Duff had released in 30 years. So it was a very big deal when that dropped two years ago. Um, you know, 1991, Use Your Illusion albums, and then not until this, kind of a, uh, in my opinion, again, a very cool thing. Also just the first new music of any kind in 13 years since Chinese Democracy dropped in 2008. Uh, I don't know how many times I could say it, but it was just a cool thing. I'm still such a big fan of the band that anything new um, is a big excitement to me. And it seems like an event with something dropping. That's the way I felt with Perhaps. Uh, I felt like that with this. So, um, you know, if you're like me and you are the diehard, then this kind of stuff matters. Uh, if not, it doesn't really matter to you then. But two new songs are on here. Two live songs were on here. Uh, you get the song Don't Cry and You're Crazy Live. What's cool about the song You're Crazy is it's done as the slower acoustic version from Lies. It's not acoustic though, it's an electric version, but they slow it down. As they have always said, that is the original intent, the way the song was written. What turned up on Appetite was a sped up version just to keep every song full energy rock for that album, which is great but they actually wrote it on acoustic guitar slowed down. So you get that on here with this. Those two new studio songs and two live songs are very cool. EP at that. I'm kind of hoping they take the song Perhaps and the song we're waiting on called The General. Maybe there's going to be some live tracks and you get another EP out of that and then they take the Hard School and Perhaps EPs, put them together and you sort of get like a Lies 2. Don't know if that's going to happen, but it could be very cool if they chose to do something like that. The two live songs that are on here are from the Not In This Lifetime reunion tour. So it is later day era stuff. It's not stuff that's already been rehashed. Okay, and the 10th thing, which is just released this year in 2023, Guns N' Roses Live in London 1991 release. They are calling this an EP on the band's website. Uh, it is six tracks, but it's 45 minutes long. Uh, there's actually eight songs on here because they do intros of other cover songs and stuff into other ones. But this one here, fan club only release so you've got to join the fan club i think it's 50 bucks you get this a 45 a pin some other stuff stickers you know but i bought it just to get this i know so 50 bucks for a cd but as i said i am a die hard guns and roses fan um it's an unreleased live show from august 31st 1991 and what i was really excited about is it features izzy stradlin there's not a lot of uh, live material because he left the band so soon into the tour for Use Your Illusion. Uh, of course, he does turn up a lot on the live era stuff because they pulled a lot from those early shows. But in terms of a complete show where he's on it and it's not a random sampling of things, uh, this is very cool. Of course, the Use Your Illusion box sets have a bunch of live stuff on it as well, including a live show that is, features Izzy. But this one here, an unreleased live show that's only available through the band's fan club. You can't just buy it, the album by itself. You've got to actually join the fan club. Um, but as I said, it's 45 minutes long. And I call that an album, especially with today's LP releases and things. Lies is only 33 minutes and it gets called an album. So even though they're calling it an EP, 
I think it's an album, but it's nice. It's a good length. And there you go. That is uh, 10 Rare Guns and Roses albums for you to dig into. If you're like me, you need more material because with only six studio albums and one live album officially being released, uh, there is all this other stuff that's out there that's great from the band, and you can have a nice big Guns N' Roses collection uh, that goes beyond just the stuff that everybody knows. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You can go search some stuff out and uh, dig deeper into Guns N' Roses. Uh, if nothing else, I'll look forward to that brand new song, The General, that is due out uh, hopefully on October 27th. It is going to be the B-side to the newest song, perhaps, which is a 45 that they're selling on their website only. It ships on October 26th, which is a Thursday, and I assume that Friday the 27th, the streaming version will drop. So keep an eye out for it. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.